All right, so where do I begin with this one? Because I got a lot to cover here. I'm going to try to cover it in as short as time as possible. But I just kind of want to get up to speed of what's been going on lately. So first of all, let's start with this whole uh, thing about the, uh, the graphics cards being like jacked up in price because we got all these uh, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency wannabe hunters, whatever you want to call them. Suddenly they're buying all these graphics cards. I don't understand how this works. Somebody wants to explain that to me. That if you have these graphics cards, you can mine for Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, or whatever. Because because the whole people who had Bitcoin back in the day just found out that it's worth thousands of dollars, so they became like insta rich. I don't want to say rich, but they got they got a sizable amount of money in their pocket now. Because of that, I guess we got all people running out to try to find other forms of either Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, so they can hopefully just strike it rich at some time in the future. And this is causing them to buy graphics cards that, for whatever reason, because of that. The price of graphics cards was usually around 380 to like 300, 380, 500 dollars, are now up like to a thousand dollars. I don't know why they're going to. I don't know who's doing this. Is it the? Uh, is is who is it? Is it the? Uh, are they reselling it for that much, or or the companies jack up the price in the hopes that that people will stop buying it for cryptocurrency and then people will and the gamers will buy it. I don't know how many gamers are out there willing to spend a thousand dollars for graphics card. I'm pretty sure I'm sure there's some. But I'm pretty sure they're very pissed if they think they can get this really decent graphics card for like three hundred and something dollars, three, four hundred dollars, and they're finding out it's a thousand dollars, they're probably gonna be pretty fucking pissed and not really gonna buy any of that. Now as much as I'm not a, I'm not the biggest PC gaming fan, but even I think this is a pile of shit. And I think it's very, I, I, it's, it's not right that they're doing this. It's not cool, man. Right? People want to buy, people want to buy their builder PCs. You know, they're gonna put some money into it, but you know, not too much. You know, they're just thinking like, hey, I get some decent like 1070 graphics card or something like that for 380. That's not too a thousand dollars. Why is it a thousand dollars? Because some douche thinks he's gonna get insta rich for uh for uh finding cryptocurrency and like all the people doing this I'm, I'm pretty sure like 99 percent of these people who are trying to dig for cryptocurrency have no idea what they're doing i don't think they're probably looking on youtube and google it how do i do this and they're sitting there buying that shit they're sitting there buying that shit and like oh how do i do this watching youtube videos or like that going to google and stuff like that f you guys by the way you're ruining gaming for actual gamers because you think you're gonna somehow strike it rich 20 years from now because you might some current current uh, cryptocurrency today. You're probably gonna be dead by then, so what the hell are you waiting for? But no, let's ruin gaming for the PC gamers because we think we're gonna get rich. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, but hold on, it gets better. Because of this, because of this, there are a few Xbox fanboys out there who think that this is good for Xbox because this means people are gonna run out and buy Xbox One X's because look, they're not gonna pay a thousand dollars for that for that graphics card, but they want a powerful thing to play on Xbox One X. Yes, they're gonna run out and buy an Xbox One X because because they're not gonna buy the graphic card. I mean, how do you draw that conclusion? I mean. Okay, even if, let's say, even if somebody said, yeah, okay, I'm not going to build my gaming PC because I, I do not feel like spending $1,000 on this graphics card. That is ridiculous. So I guess I will buy a console. They're going to run to the, 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 the Xbox One X is the most expensive console out there right now. Like, the, you got the cheaper PS4, which is still pretty good and, like, offers more to play with, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. And some people might even bite the bullet and get a Switch. Like, yeah, the Switch is not as powerful, but hey, it's portable. I can play games on the go. That's cool. $300, not bad. That $300 could have been my graphics card, but no, because the cryptocurrency a-holes got to ruin my gaming life. I'll get a Switch. Why not? Eventually, the prices might go back down. These cryptocurrency hunters might realize they're pathetic. And then I can go ahead and buy my graphics card and buy and build my PC. But in the meantime, hey, I got a portable Switch. You know, the PS4 is like pretty cheap. Now you can get those pretty cheap. Um, even the PS4 Slim is like $400, something like that. It's not too bad. I mean, these people are going to sit there and they're like, even if they decide, well, okay, I won't buy my graphics card. But in the meantime, I'll buy a console. Very few of them are probably going to run to the Xbox One X. So I don't know why... People are thinking that because of this whole cryptocurrency jacking up the prices of, of um, graphics card thing, that people are not only going to run out and buy an Xbox One. And even if they do, so what? I mean, seriously, where's that money going? It's going to Microsoft. It's not going to you. 
there's, there's none of that money's going in your pocket. If people decide, hey, I guess I'll buy it. If people just suddenly there's a rush on Xbox One X's because if suddenly there's a rush on Xbox One S's because because they can't get around those cars. What's the difference? The, the, nobody's it, 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 just it, it, Microsoft gets the money. Microsoft benefits, not you, but you're acting like it's some kind of victory for you if people decide to buy Xbox One X's. I know this goes for any system. All right, I know. Same thing with PS4. Same thing with Nintendo. You know, we sit there and we're like, "Oh, look at it selling." But let's face it, we're not getting any of that money. I like so like people. There's PlayStation, what, 80 million units out there or something like that? Like, how much of that money went to me? Now, my money went to them. That money didn't come to me. My money went to them. I haven't seen a dime of that come my wallet. Same thing with the Switch. Switch is selling right now. People are buying that thing. It's making money. And, like, none of that money is coming to me. I like, I don't, I don't, I did none of that. Like, nothing that Nintendo made has come to me. <laughs> so, even if you have an Xbox One X, the money's going to go Microsoft. And what's the difference? Even if you have, like, a bunch of people buying Xbox One S's, X's, X's, it's getting confusing. But Xbox One X's, guess what? You're still not playing games, so who are you going to play with?